Jeff, what is it? What oh. is it? What is it? Oh, I don't. He's Believe been here. It. He's been in here. Hey, what happened here? More carnations. Um. This is getting out of hand. I can't do it. I won't. I can't do this. Ellie, is there anything wrong? What? Wait. Who the devil brought those carnations here? Did you see anyone, Kel? No. I guess they were here, Cruz. Is there a card or anything? I... Well, yeah. well, Kelly, every happiness, we've waited so long for this day. There's no name. What? I'm going to check with the church staff, see if anybody knows about this. Joe, you stay with Kelly. I'm not leaving. Nothing is right. Joe, this is supposed to be the happiest day of our life. I, I, I know. I want to think about us. You know, I want to think about what a wonderful life we're going to have together. I want to jump every time I hear something. I think we should call it off. I think we should just wait. Kelly, I'm so sorry. Your father explained to me what happened. Do you have any idea how these got here? I'm not sure. I'll check with my wife. But I asked her to arrange a bouquet. A little something special to you from us. I, I didn't see it. But we don't... We didn't know that th this person... Who did these terrible things was trying to do... Carnations are very traditional. I'm sure my wife just... No, I thought... know. I understand. It's okay, Reverend Sutter. It's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll put them somewhere else. Now, why don't you let me take them until we're sure that's where they came from? Yeah. Why did this have to happen? Daddy, she didn't know, okay? Kitten, this is your wedding day. I don't want you to have to worry about anything. Now, if you want to wait until this carnation killer is caught and he's, he's put away, then you just say the word. People will, will understand. If they don't, then the hell with them. Now, this is your day, honey. Nothing matters except what you want. Daddy, this is our day. Joe's and mine. And I'm not looking to let anybody or anything change that. All right. I'll be in the chapel when you're ready. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I'm going to handle this. All right? I'm going to get rid of the panic. You sure? I'm positive. And get out of here and let me become a bride, all right? Am I going to recognize you? I didn't... I'm the one with the white dress on, all right? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. And you are. Mom, I cried. I thought I knew. I know. Where were you? What happened? There's so much. I thought we we thought. I know. Why did you make us think you were dead? I'll tell you everything. But right now I 
just want to hold oh, you. Why did you go? Why? I didn't mean to. I didn't want to. Eden, let me go home. where you you live where you stay the people that need you your mother and father we didn't have a mother I lost you too I lost everything but you didn't have to you didn't you could have come back you could have and you didn't what You didn't love us. Oh, Eden, no. Eden, please. Uh, I have something. I have something I want to show you. Now, wait, wait, right there. I'll be right back. I've been saving these and collecting them as many as I could find. Oh, look, look, it's. Here's a picture of Channing. This is when he won the cup in the steeplechase. And look, that's Teddy right next to him. Teddy was only 10 years old when I was taken. Oh, and look, it's a picture of Kelly. Now, that's her engagement picture. See? See, here's a picture of you. And it, and it says, it says, Aiden Capwell, daughter of Susie Capwell, was going to study in Paris. I don't want to look at this. I know you don't. I don't know why I'm, I'm showing this to you now. It's, to, it's just that I don't know where to start. I want you to know that I always loved you. We're not your trophies. You can't just cut pictures out of a newspaper and call yourself our mother. No, I know. And I failed you, darling, and there's no way I can change that. You don't even know me. To try to make this up to you. Everything I am, I am because I grew up by myself. I grew up alone. There was Daddy. Thank God there was Daddy. He gave us love and respect. And I never wanted for anything. But I had to teach myself how to be a woman. When I was 12, it took me almost a year before I would confess to Rosa that I had been... I thought there was something wrong with me. I thought that I had inherited something from you and that I was going to die just like you did. I had to be my own mother. You can't make up anything to me. Because I already did it myself. Eden, I can't carry any more guilt, baby, than I already have. When I found out, when I remembered what happened to me, I didn't know how I could ever tell you. It became harder and harder to bear. The hardest of all was how could I ever, how could I ever come back to my family? Maybe I've been asking the wrong questions. Not why you left, but why you came back. Oh, don't you? Do you really think that you can come back into our lives? Do you think that you could turn our lives upside down? I want to come back to my family. I want to come back if you want me. I want... I want to understand. And I want to explain it to you. But I'm afraid now that you'll just hate me. You did. You did just desert us. No. Oh, no. But if you can...
can't realize now how much I love you, how much I missed you, how much I need you, then you're never going to understand the truth. I know where you were when you were with us. Ten years before I was born. Oh, God, Eden, don't, please. You were Lionel Lockridge's mistress. Oh. All right. I am going to explain that all to you. Then you admit it. Please. Please stay away from my father. You have heard him enough. You will. Don't you mean, baby, that I've hurt you enough? I'm strong. I've had to be. That's one thing you did give me, Mom. You can leave here with a clear conscience. But please, just take your disguise and your guilt and leave us alone. So, uh, are you as excited as everybody else is, huh? Oh, I think so. You know, I can't help wishing that Mom and Channing were off. Yeah. You know, I think this wedding is just what we need for all of us. You do? Yeah, I think for, uh, for you and Joe, I don't know, you're going to show everyone how it's done. And I think back all the trouble you guys went through. Yeah, I know. I would have been married to him a long time ago if I hadn't lost faith in him. I think I needed to learn that lesson. You know, Lincoln's not in the church, and there's no answer to her house. Have you seen her around? Yeah, I saw her this morning, Ted. She's not coming. What? Of course she's coming. She's one of your brides. No, she stopped by the house this morning, and she was so upset. She just told me that she didn't want to have anything to do with the wedding. Oh, man. You're, I thought you said you had nerves of steel. Well, I'm a little worried about the maid of honor. Eden? Yeah, I think she ought to be here by now. Well, Eden's never been on time for anything in her life. She wouldn't be late for this. You don't think that... I think she ought to be here, that's all. I'm sure she's okay. We did say 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I know I know where she is, so that's, that's okay. At least where she's supposed to be. Maybe I ought to go on over there and check her out, huh? Go ahead, just, just don't keep me waiting all day, huh? Yo, wait, I got the ring. How could you do this to us? Just back out at the last minute. Well, Ted, obviously something happened between you and Lake. Yeah, well, that shouldn't matter. She made a commitment. You want to tell me about it? Oh, not today. Not while you're... No, listen. No matter where I am or, or what I'm doing, I'm always your big sister. And I'm always on your side. Oh, I you know, know I know. I just hope she doesn't make the same mistake I did. She'd be crazy if she let go of you. You think I should go... No, oh, oh, never mind. You want to go see her? No, I, I don't have any time. Come on. I got an idea. Come on. Joe? Yes? My beautiful bride. Thanks. I'll be right back. Don't ride the clutch. The transmission's slipping. <laughs> Kelly? How's it going? Peter, I want you to get out of here. D does your wedding dress fit? Peter, please. Look, I, I brought you something. I don't want... Why don't you just leave it outside? 
Leave it downstairs with the ushers, with all the other gifts. No, no, I, I, I want you to wear it. Look, it's, it, it's something old and, and something blue, but it's not borrowed. I, I, I want you to have it. Peter, will you just leave it and go, please? No, I want you to wear it. Let me see it. See? Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it is. Just like you. You did. Stop it, please. Something has ended for me, and something has just begun, and I'm not sure what it is. What are you going to do? I don't know. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't want you to. I want you to know me. I want you to tell me what Lionel said. He told me how you met. How you ended. All right, I'm going to tell you the rest. Why did you marry my father? Lionel told me you did it just to hurt him. Oh, Lionel thinks the world revolves around him. I love you. And I wanted to marry him, and I wanted his strength, and I wanted a family by him. Then why did you keep seeing Lionel? I didn't. For a long time. Eden, and then something happened. I have to go. No, don't. Let me explain I have to go to the church. You don't have an answer. I could see it written all over your face. You did what you wanted to do. All right, so people do that. They just do things like that. But you're my mother. Eden, wait. Now listen to me. I don't want you to say anything to the others, no matter how you feel about me right now. It would hurt them too much if I didn't have time to explain. Promise. Promise you? What makes you think that you deserve a promise from me? You broke every promise you ever made. Eden, you won't say anything. I know it. I want you to pack your bags and leave Santa Barbara. I know. Are you going to? I will think about it after the wedding. The wedding? You can't go to the wedding. Eden, I had more to do with Joe and Kelly getting together than you can ever imagine. We don't belong to you anymore. If you are telling me the truth, if you really love us, then just leave us alone. I don't think that you really mean that. Not really. Uh, I don't think so. I'm visiting someone. Whom? Mm. Why don't you move on and mind your own business? I am. You're standing in front of the door to my room. I thought there was a, a woman staying here, a writer. Well, obviously you were mistaken. Not at all. A friend of mine came here to be interviewed, and uh, it's time for her to leave. Shall we see what the hotel security have to say about this? This is what they'll say. Why are you protecting this woman? Never mind, open the door. Just open it, man. Eden? Is everything okay? I'm just on my way. You're wrong about me. I'm not sorry I came. At least I don't have to go through life thinking that. Don't worry about it. When I leave here, that will be the last time we'll see each other.
goodbye. It's nice meeting you. I'm sorry. Why, why did you have to do that? I didn't mean to. And why, why are you so afraid of me, Kelly? Joe's not coming. I saw him go out with your brother. There's no one out there. Yes, he is, Peter. My dad and Reverend Sutter Eden's going to be here any minute. Oh, oh. I'm not keeping you from them. You can go to them. Then move away from the door. Why do you keep on doing this? What? Pretending. Have I ever hurt you? No. Have I ever tried to hurt you? No. I just wanted to give you a present. It belonged to my mother. She wore it on the day she was married. Her eyes were the same color blue. Just like yours. Honey says... Joe! Back here, but... Joe. What the... Oh, no, no, it's all right. It's all right. He's leaving, Joe. How did he get in here? To the door. I just wanted to give Kelly a present. It's all right. Get out! It's Sorry. Right. to congratulate you both. He's going. Aren't you? Yes. I, I just want to pick up the pieces of the necklace that... Fell. All right. That's fine. We'll wait outside. Kelly, uh, listen, I, I know this isn't the right time to ask, but I know I didn't get a, an invitation, but do you think I could stay and watch the wedding? You've got to be kidding. No, Peter. We don't want you here. But I, I know Joe doesn't want I don't want you here either. I'm sorry. All right. Did he lay a hand on no, you? No, he didn't. How did he get in here? Who said he had everybody? All the doors blocked. It doesn't matter now, all right? To tell you the truth, I am relieved, Joe. I have been dreading this all morning, and he finally showed up. And nothing happened. Nothing. Now maybe we can all breathe easier. Yeah, as soon as he's gone. Joe, look, maybe you're wrong. Maybe he's not the killer. Tell that to somebody who hasn't looked down the rifle barrel with him on the other side. I know that. And I'll never forgive him for that. But let me tell you, I don't think he's out to hurt me. I'm better now. It's okay. I'm not. You're the only one who understands. He doesn't deserve to have you. And he never will. How'd you get in here? Kelly said you backed out of Did being we in the wedding. You in? Why, Lincoln? I don't think we need to ask that. They've been planning this wedding for weeks. Kelly bent over backwards so you could be included. There are dozens of people she could have asked for, for, to be bridesmaids. That's why I know I could be easily replaced. She was counting on you. Sometimes when you count on people, you get hurt. Isn't that the way it is? Look, just because you hate me now doesn't give you any reason to take it out on Kelly. I want you to take this. What is this? I don't want it anymore. I gave you this bracelet for your birthday. I know. And pictures for... I... Ted, I don't want it. I don't want to see any of it anymore. Well, it's not mine. I gave it to you. Like, why does it have to be this way? I, I, I don't want it to. Okay, even Jim, I'll... will you take it out or I'll take it? Just listen to me!
You can dress at the church in the choir room with Kelly. You should see your dad. He, he's so excited. He's running around like a little kid, checking things over and over again. <laughs> what a guy. It's amazing to see him like that. Hey, man. Just keep driving. No, just leave me alone. What happened? Nothing. You don't have to tell me, but I hope you know you can. You won't go any further. I just don't understand people sometimes, Cruz. Well, who is that woman, anyway? I mean, she's no writer, that's for sure. Obviously, that old get-up in the hospital was a disguise, right? You know, I... I can't place her face, but I could swear I've seen it before. Where? Yeah. Who knows? You want me to track it down? No. No, um, she's going to be leaving Santa Barbara anyway. Uh, she won't be any bother to the rest of us. So you do know who she is? It's someone from my past. Something bad happened between you two? Would you be honest with me about something? Of course. There's something between you and I. Something special. But if, if that wasn't there, would you think that I was a bad person, really? No. Forget I asked. What do you want me to say, yes? No, I want you to tell me the truth. I just know you can care for someone even though they're a bad person. But what if they were mean and selfish and they didn't care about anybody but themselves? What then? Well, then they'd be human because everybody goes through periods like that. For years and years. If they turned away from all the people that are supposed to love them. You have never done that in... Maybe I have. I've done whatever I wanted to do. I've never had to speak to anyone else. If you're talking about your father, you know, as far as he's concerned, that the sun rises and sets by you. I was gone five years. He doesn't know me the way you do. Baby, when you care about somebody, you care about them, period. Not just because they do what you want them to. does it take before you forget someone? Mind. About what? About the wedding. It's very important to me. I'd like you to leave, Ted. What if I apologized? For what? Maybe I did do the wrong thing. About telling Mason that your brother was the one who killed Channing. Look, I, I wasn't sure. If I jumped to conclusions, Lakin, I am sorry. Lakin, please, it's the best I can do. You can't try and ruin somebody's life and then just say I'm sorry. Well, then what can I say? Huh? Tell me, please. What if my dad came to you and said, I'm sorry, Ted. I made a mistake. I didn't mean to have an affair with your mother. I didn't mean to kill her. Would that make it all right? Your father explained it to me and I listened. The things were said and things happened that can't be erased. It's too late. So that's it then. That's it. You meant everything in the world to me. That's it. It was never right between us and we knew it. No. Ted knew from the beginning it wasn't working. That's not true, Lakin. Look, just because you've changed your mind now doesn't mean you can go back and change what we had. Everybody warned me and I wouldn't listen. I 
I'm never going to make that mistake again. Nick and I loved you. And you loved me. Now that was not a mistake. And the most important thing that ever happened to me. You know, I never even thought what it'd be like without you. I wish I should be there. But you're not, I don't know. Joey, you just take this and go, please. Lincoln, look, just go. Lincoln, there's... Yeah, I don't care, just go. through so much to have it happen today and not be there. Well, I will not try to stop you, but don't forget that Eden will be there. If she sees you there again, she may just expose you to everyone. Well, perhaps that's just a chance I have to take. And perhaps that is exactly what you are hoping for. How well did you get to know her in Europe? I saw her again, maybe once or twice after that time on the train. We did the right thing, didn't we, Marcello? Oh, yes. Yes, it was all very sudden for her. I did not know she... Did not know if she could handle it. I'll never forget the look on her face. Oh, no, can I? The gambling had finished for the evening, remember? I had one, as usual. Yes. Oh, you love to show off, don't you? Mmm, so do you. Your ring was cold. I'm sorry, I should have taken it off. I guess I forgot in my enthusiasm. You could have had you arrested. No. Oh? For assault. But, officer, the lady is a thief. Uh -huh. Well, maybe we could have gone to jail together. <laughs> that might be fun. No, no, no. I don't know if I trust you. No? Yes. Why not? Because you have a sneaky face. Oh, Yes. Contessa, you're in danger. Martella, why are you always the last at the table? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Marcella? You're supposed to be dead. Marcella? Why are you... Eden Capwell! Train's moving through the tunnel. You can see nothing, except a faint light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, the tunnel. She's completely under. Did you see what was happening? Her pupils were dilating. The shock was too great, a psychic could not handle it. I can wipe out from her mind any, any memory of you, any, any thought of ever having seen you. That is what you want me to do, yes? I, I guess. That is what you want, is it not? It, it is for her own good. Yes. Then please help her. Eden, can you hear me? Yes. Your mother is dead, is she not? Yes. So what you saw was a mistake. Yes, a mistake. It was a mistake. Yes. Now, even the train is still in the tunnel. When it comes out of the tunnel, you will not remember seeing your mother. You will only remember seeing me. Do you understand? Yes. I'm going to count to three. When I reach the number three, the train will be out of the tunnel and the lights will be on. One. Two. Three. Uh, I don't like tunnels. Oh, but they're very necessary. Switzerland could not exist without them. Where were we? I think you were saying that you could not trust me. Oh, yes. 
I don't think I do trust you. Well, perhaps in time you could learn to trust me. I doubt it. Mm. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. I would not have been able to do it, hypnotizing her, if her psyche had not been fighting itself. She wanted very much to believe that you were not dead. Now she hates me. Martello, I'm leaving for the wedding. Sophia. Yes? Are you not afraid of seeing her again, seeing them all? Yes. Goodbye. Just in time to help me with his hair. Uh, let me put on my dress first, okay? Uh, your daddy was worried about you. Well, you know how I am. Well, that's what I told him. You still pacing up and down in the vestibule? Yes. Don't you ever go near my father. I loved your father. I needed his strength. Are you excited? Oh, I can't even get dressed. Eden, I'm a wreck. I'm like losing my mind. Oh, is Sally here yet? I don't know. I didn't see her. I had her fill in for Lakin for me at the last minute. I hadn't let the dress down, but I hope it's all right. Then why did you keep seeing Lionel? You don't ever think that I didn't love you. Eden, I think something's really wrong with Ted and Lakin. I don't know what it is. Oh, were you at home? Did uh, Gina and Brandon leave yet? Home is where you stay, with the people who love you. No. No, I, I, I don't know. Eden, are you okay? You mustn't tell, tell the others. Yeah, I'm okay. I, um, just have the jitters, that's all. After all, someone's got to have them. You don't have them. Ho, ho, ho. You should see me this morning. I was a wreck. I don't know what it is. It's like sometimes... I won't let myself feel happy, you know? It's like I'm afraid to. Mom, I cried so much. It's like I... I start thinking of all the things that could go wrong. And then I, like, make myself sad. Thinking of all the people that can't be here to share it with us. My grandfather. And Channing and Mom. Kelly. What? Nothing's gonna go wrong today. I won't let it. You really deserve to be happy. We all do, Eden. No, some more than others. That's not true. I want you to feel someday how, how I feel for Joe. For you and Ted and Daddy and for everybody. It's all the same. I lost everything. Today wouldn't mean anything to me if you all weren't here. I want to come back to my family. Ian, why do you look so sad? You're not losing me. I know. I want to come back to my family. Did somebody knock at the door? No. Are you waiting for someone? No, I'm just, uh, I'll go downstairs and I'll see if Sally's here yet. You know, see, who's here. All right. Now I gotta give it to you, Mr. C. You really know how to throw a wedding. Well.
Well, how's Kelly coming? Uh, she's almost ready. 